So in the series of learning object oriented programming in C++ from this video I'm going to start C++ programming language. This video would be about introduction to C++. In the previous videos till now we have discussed what is object oriented programming, how it is different from POP, processor oriented programming and basic OOPS concept. Six concepts, classes, objects, abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. In brief, we have discussed these concepts, right? Just to get you an overview about these OOPS concepts, not in detail. In detail, we'll discuss one by one in later videos, right? So this, in this video, we'll be discussing some basic points or you can say introduction to C++ programming language. First of all, why we need a programming language? See, if you want to communicate with your friend, if you want to give some instruction to your friend, like bring me a glass of water, then you will say, how do you communicate with your friend? Maybe you will say a language that would be understood by your friend in Hindi or English, like Panika glass law or bring me a glass of water, right? A language you need to communicate with your friend, right? So same, we cannot say like, hey laptop, please add two numbers. The numbers are five and four. Please find out a number is even or odd. No, computer is not able to understand these things. The language of computer is binary language, only zeros and ones. So we have to say that thing in zeros and ones in binary language that computer can understand. But we don't know how to say it in zero and one, right? But yeah, if there is someone between us and like our laptop who can convert, we are saying add two numbers, the numbers are five and four. And that, that thing or that person, the intermediator can convert that thing into machine code like zeros and ones and then give it to, you can say your computer then it would be easy, like a translator we have generally. Not we have, but whenever some delegates come from like any other country, then they come with their translators, right? If we speak in Hindi, they can translate it in, according to their language and in, in, in if Russian comes, then according to their language and something like that, this, like. So to communicate with our computers, to give instruction to your system, your laptop, we need a language, programming language, right? And there are multiple programming languages, fine, before C and C++, Java, C Sharp, there are multiple programming languages also, right, Fortran, Pascal, Leda and BCPL, basic, many languages were there, right. So now in this video, we will be discussing about C++ programming language. So I hope this is clear to you why we need a programming language, right. And see, obviously, some task human being cannot do better, your system and your machine can do it better, efficiently, right? So, obviously, we need, and why we need system or computers in our life, that I hope you are aware about that thing, fine? These are making our life easy. So, some basics about, first of all, who invent, invented this uh, C++, who developed C++? It was Bjarne Straustrup. And he was a Danish computer scientist. Since 1979, he was working on this language, implementation of this language. Since 1979. So first of all, it was known as C with classes. He was working on his PhD, you know, thesis. And he wants a language which also have features of C as well as some object oriented programming concepts. Now, how he was aware about these OOPS concept, inheritance, abstraction, polymorphism, because there was one language, Simula 67. Simula 67 is known as the first object oriented programming language. But the, that was very, you know, slow for practical use, that language and C was first, fast language. So he wants to combine C features plus the only the OOPS features of Simula 67 combined and that language was firstly known as named as C with classes. Now when it was renamed C++ in 1983, right? Let me just write down some points here. So where at AT&T Bell Laboratories <coughs> where C was developed in New Jersey, USA and, and the name given was C with classes and it was just an extension of C language or you can say it's a superset of C language, right? means it contains all the features of C as well as some additional features like OOPS concept, right? But it is not purely object oriented programming language because some features like friend and virtual uh, classes, I guess they violate those uh, OOPS features, right? How th that will be discussing later sessions when we will discuss friend and about friend and uh, virtual classes, right? 
So, it is not purely object or object oriented programming language. So, it supports like it is just extension of C superset of C. So, C is what you can say comes under POP. So, it supports multiple paradigms processor oriented programming also and object oriented programming as well as right. Right in C we have structure in C plus plus also we have structure and classes as well, but in C we do not have classes. So, it is a general purpose programming language. Now, what is this general purpose programming language? See general we can say general store when you go to a general store you will find everything there. So, general purpose programming language means you can write software here, you can build software or applications for any domain right. Like in C++ you can write you can use it for system programming as well as system programming as well as high level programming like you can uh, implement here uh, OS operating system low level programming you can also do kernels drivers. You can also write down editors in C++ and C as well as it is used uh, to uh, build uh, translators your compilers interpreter these things as well as some games GUI desktop applications right. For every domain there is something in this language for every domain you can create a software with the help of this language that is why it is known as general purpose programming language right and it supports multiple paradigms as well as it is you can say a middle level language or you can say intermediate language it supports both the features of low level language as well as high level language. You can do also system programming with the help of C++ you can uh, write down you can create operating system and for do system programming you need an extensive you know very high level of knowledge of your hardware right because you are if you are creating an operating system obviously you need you need to be very close to the hardware you need knowledge of hardware in deep right. So, it is close to a lower level programming as well right. So, it is middle level language as well as high level language application we can create like GUI games desktop based applications right those things we can also do with the help of C++. They do not need uh, like knowledge of hardware fine if you are creating operating system you are writing programs for drivers for networking you need that level of knowledge, but for creating these type of applications you do not need that kind of hardware knowledge. So, that is why it is used for both low level uh, no uh, creating low level application as well as high level application. So, it is middle level language fine. Now, next point about C++ is and as I have told you named as uh, C++ in 1983 right. Now, why this C++ as we know plus plus is an increment operator which, mean, which means we are adding one value. Suppose I am writing int a is equal to 5 and I am doing a plus plus it means it becomes 6 means adding something we are increasing the value that is why we are adding some extra features in C that is why it is known as C plus plus the idea comes from this this operator increment operator which we are having in C right and it is compiled language means we need a compiler to convert the whatever we write in this C plus plus into machine code we need a compiler right not an interpreter. Compiler means the complete code at once will be compiled and converted into the machine code. So, it is a compiled language and it is object oriented programming language why so because it follows the OOPS concept and what are OOPS concept we have discussed in previous video right. Classes, objects, abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance, encapsulation. And the latest version of C++ is C++20 which came in year 2020. Four major release was there C++ uh, 11, C++ 14, C++ 17 and C++ 20 in 2011, 2014, 2017 and 2020. Now next come will be coming in C++ 23 in 2023. So, the history we will be discussing uh, in a separate video. So, this is all about introduction to C++ language and the next video will be C, we will be you know discussing history of C++ as well as we will see some features of C++ language right. You can say how this is different from C language, what differentiate it from the C language. So, now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care.